Hi and welcome to another getting started with Unity tutorial on www.unitycookie.com. My name is Gabriel Williams and in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at the uh, the basics of using colliders and physics within Unity. So this is something uh, really easy, uh, simple to do and of course lots of fun whether you're creating uh, destructible, uh, destructible anything, towers and uh, bases and vehicles and whatnot. Uh, anything that you want to be able to uh, explode or collapse, uh, have all sorts of fun like that with. Uh, starts just from the basics with the colliders and a few simple um, a few simple components that we can drop on. So let's take a look at what we'll be creating here. Just to make this a little more fun, if I hit play, this is what we will end up with. Something neat like that and it'll take us all of about five minutes to build at the very most. So just a quick look at the physics and how to set them up. Alright, so we'll go ahead and create a new scene, start from scratch here. So, uh, the first thing we need to look at is the basic uh, Unity Collider properties. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, just a cube, a sphere, and a capsule. Since these are the three basic types that we need to know. And if we look at these, just like they sound, we have a cube, sphere, and capsule, of course. And each has their own basic um, uh, cap, uh, sorry, collider attached to them from the start. So, of course, the capsules looks just like it should. We have a uh, basically two hemispheres of a sphere and a cylinder to the center. The sphere, and if you're looking here, you can see the green lines are actually the collider itself and this is what the physics engine sees and uses for all of the calculations on how it should work and of course the box simply has this simple box around it and each of these has a few of its own properties if we look at the inspector over here while the uh, um, object is selected in the cube we have the center which we can move around on this or we have the size which of course we can change if we'd like to um, and the same for the sphere, of course. Other than that, now we have its radius instead of size. And, of course, center the same. And capsule is much the same, except now we have a height, which is how, of course, tall that is, and a direction, whether it's uh, moving in, uh, or, sorry, uh, in the x, y, or z axis. So uh, normally that's just left on the Y so that it's used for a character controller or some such. So pretty basic, not too much there. Uh, you will notice there's also a material and a trigger option up here, and that's something we will get into in more advanced uh, and, of course, more fun tutorials. Uh, materials are something where you can add in anything like uh, maybe a, a bouncy or rubber type material so it'll be it'll be affected by physics in that way or a slippery ice type material or more frictiony material uh, lots of fun things like that you can add in there so uh, three basic types pretty simple to see just as they are there uh, if we want to see these in action it's also pretty simple um, we'll need something for them to uh, to land on I suppose so we'll go ahead and create a plane at the bottom Maybe move these up. One thing, if you have a physics object and it is sticking through another, you'll get some issues where uh, the physics engine just doesn't quite know what to do and might end up just shooting this off into space at some ridiculous speed or just sit, uh, sit there jittering looking rather strange. So always best to just make sure uh, that things are always at least a little, you know, out of or above any actual uh, other physics objects just in case. I'm going to take these, and looks like I can move this up just a bit to be safe here. So once we have these objects, we can um, go ahead and make them real physics objects. Right now, if I hit play, we'll see that even though they all have colliders, technically, none of them, um, or Unity doesn't know that any of them are actual physics objects. So we need to set that in the components here, and we can do that by simply selecting the object. I'm going to Component, Physics, and then add a rigid body to it. And now in the components list we have this rigid body here with a few options such as mass and drag and constraints and such. 
and we won't actually worry about any of those yet. Uh, maybe just for now, make sure that gravity is on and kinematic is off, so that way it'll uh, work properly and be affected by gravity here. And we'll do the same to the sphere and to the capsule. So component physics rigid body, and we'll leave all of these on their defaults. And now. Uh, you know, we'll make this a little more interesting and hit, um, if we select each one and hit Control D, oops, we can make a copy of it really nice and easily there. So Control D, move around a couple here just like this, just for a little more um, interesting simulation here. And maybe a couple of these just for fun. Oops, I did have two there. <laughs> so, there we go. And uh, now when we hit play, we can see how this plays out. So, there we go. Simple as that. Uh, this is interesting. I guess these are perfectly balanced according to the Unity system. So, sometimes you'll see things that don't quite seem to make sense. So... Uh, say we know we really wanted this to fall over. Let's move it just a tiny bit off to the side. Hit play. There we go. That's more like what we'd want. <laughs> so, of course, sometimes the system can be a bit too perfect, perhaps. But there you have it. Uh, just that simple to create your own physics simulations within Unity and, of course, apply that uh, to any forces. We can always, right within Unity, move things around, see how they might affect each other. Just like that, very simple to very simple to use. All right, well, we'll definitely be looking into more of that in uh, the advanced tutorials, having a lot more fun with physics materials, the bouncy, the the frictioning materials, um, doing more complex uh, work on these uh, rigid bodies here. So stay tuned for those. See you then. Thanks.